SOLIDWORKS 2021 introduces many enhancements to extend the already robust capabilities when working with parts. Let's focus on the parts that we want to work on and take a look at some of the enhancements to sheet metal, 3MF support, and some new capabilities for weldments. And we'll slip in some other enhancements along the way. When working with sheet metal parts, we've long been able to create an edge flange on curved edges like these on the right but were limited to curved edges originating from planar faces. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2021, edge flanges can be created on curved edges originating from non-planar faces, such as those in the bend area. The preview shows how the edge flange will be created all the way around the part. Familiar edge flange customization tools are available to help define the edge flange, such as length, angle, flange length dimensioning method, and flange position. This new edge flange looks great and is sure to provide more stiffness to the angle bracket. And of course, this edge flange can be flattened, ready to be detailed or exported to DXF for fabrication. This edge flange is great for structural integrity, but it's also useful for enclosures and guarding, such as its cover. The edge flange on the far side needs to protect the components of this navigation control unit. Full editing capabilities are available, so we can change the direction of the flange, as well as the angle to wrap around the internal components to keep them safe. The new edge flange capability along nonlinear edges extends the robust sheet metal capabilities of SOLIDWORKS 2021 for many applications such as adding stiffening ribs and enclosures. This LED light assembly contains parts of various colors, applied textures, and transparency and needs to be 3D printed. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, support for export and import of 3MF files gets even better. Now, color, textures, and transparency are supported on export. This information is stored in the 3MF file to be used for manufacturing or other applications. When opening a 3MF file in SOLIDWORKS 2021, we now support many more appearances. Per facet and per vertex coloring, as well as textures and transparency can now be visualized when importing 3MF files as graphics bodies. Additive manufacturing continues to rise in capability and popularity, and SOLIDWORKS continues to embrace these technologies. When working in the weldment environment, it's common to use various sizes of weldment members. The horizontal tubes in this frame are 2x2 two two square tube, and the vertical tubes are 3x2 rectangular tubes. The Weldment Trim Extend tool is used to trim the tubes to each other with various options for the corner type. The two end butt trims dictate how one tube trims to the other, and the miter trim bisects the angle between the two tubes, creating an equal angle miter trim. Since these tubes are of different profiles, the equal angle miter does not produce the desired result. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, there's a new option for miter trims, the flush miter, which does just that. It trims the tubes so they meet flush. The other vertical members are mirrored, so they update as well. This weldment will need to be painted, so let's edit the appearance and choose a color. We have a wide variety of colors to choose from, or we can use the color spectrum to define a custom color but oftentimes we need to choose specific colors that are dictated by a customer. Let's take a look at the Square Robot webpage. Here, we can learn all about their products and their initiatives, but what we really want is the color in the banner on this page. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2021, there is an option for easily selecting colors that do not exist in the palette. Just drag the dropper icon over any area on the screen and the color under the dropper is applied to the selection. For the vertical members of this weldment, we'd like to have a different color. Let's select several of these bodies, and again, drag the dropper to the orange color in the logo to apply it to the bodies. The new color picker works on any image displayed on the screen, including colors from popular paint vendors and color system websites. Custom properties are a great way to store information about a document, such as description, creation date, or material. These can be leveraged automatically to populate title blocks, bills of material, 
and PDM. Sometimes it's necessary to calculate a result to define a custom property. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2021, equations are supported in custom properties. Choose equation as the property type, and you have access to global variables, math functions, and other properties. For this weldment, we want to define an estimated cost that is based on a global variable, which is an estimated finished cost that is multiplied by the mass of the part. This gives a result of $428.60. Equations can be used in cut list properties as well. This plate in the cut list is used four times, and we would like to know the total length of all the plates together. Again, to find the custom property name, choose Equation as the property type, and for this calculation, we want to multiply the quantity of plates by the plate length, which results in a total length of 20.52. Parts are the foundation for creating assemblies. With the new curved edge flanges, enhanced 3MF support, new weldment trims, custom color selection tools, and equations, and custom properties and cut lists, SOLIDWORKS continues to enhance the already powerful capabilities when working with parts.